Hey everybody, uh, this is the drum tutorial overview for Build Your Kingdom here uh, from Rend Collective. We're doing this song at 1.37 BPM, uh, quarter notes actually. We've talked a lot about having to click on eighth notes because of what your right hand's doing, but in this case, uh, we're doing a, you can do an eighth note click. We've chosen to do a quarter note click just to keep the swing kind of right because uh, sometimes with a sort of swanky four on the floor thing like this, uh, with what we're gonna do with the, the groove in the hands, I think quarter notes is a little bit more apropos, um, and I'll show you why. Um, as, the, uh, as the overview goes on, you're gonna see there's really only um, three parts to the song. It's super simple, but Rend Collective's uh, version of the song feels like very Mumford & Sons, very folk driven, or almost um, kind of Americana. And uh, we were trying at Worship Solutions to come up with a, a way to present the song in more of a modern worship format. So we kind of went with a little bit of like a, uh, like UK indie uh, temper trap inspired groove, um, but we wanted to keep it really simple just because simple is always best. So the overview basically is that you've got the click at 137 and you're going four on the floor, which is basically a kick drum for every quarter note. So it's called four on the floor. And it just kind of keeps going, just chugging throughout. And then there's hands come in and out, uh, but this groove's kind of incorporating both hands as opposed to like a standard kind of beat like this. We're gonna go with more of like a, a jungly tom groove. And it's actually got a way to say it, which will help you learn the groove. It's pretty simple. Uh, you've probably heard it on like the Jungle Book and some other Disney shows if you're old school. Check it out. Right? One and a two and a three and a four e and a one and a two and a three and a four e and a. If you're gonna say it, say the melody of the drums, that's what it is. I'll slow it down for you. Just keep that going with the kick. Right? Then it's got a snare backbeat in the choruses. Really, those are the three sections. There's sections with just kick, sections with tom and kick, and then sections with tom, snare, and kick with a couple of cymbals thrown in. It's this is a really cool thing because if you ever do like special feature music in your church or anything like that, you can kind of build a small kit and put it on the front of the stage and just kind of go with this like small kit vibe for like a feature that'll feel a lot different and maybe your worship leader will let you get out from behind the cage. All right, so <laughs> here we go. This is the chorus groove. So it's basically the same one and a two and a three and right one and a two and a three. That's basically all it is. We'll break this down a little bit more as we do the breakdown uh, and kind of go in depth on the verse and chorus grooves and the kick. But I, I kind of wanted to give you the basic outline and thesis just in case you're like fast tracking to church and you got to like learn the parts super fast. 137 BPM. Build your kingdom here. Jungle jungle toms. Super fun song to play. I'm telling you, you get behind the kit on this thing and it's like a locomotive starts taking off and you just gotta keep the band driving all the way to the finish line. I think you'll have a blast playing it. You can check out the more in-depth breakdowns on the song and the play along as well. Take care.